Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena here. I'm doing a quick hands-on look at the HTC One A9. Now, this is kind of interesting because HTC claims that this is its flagship device for the holiday season, replacing the M9 in its lineup. And we could see from a design standpoint, it's a very different looking design from the M9. Now, what's, what stands out most is the symmetrical design. Now, HTC says that they want to go with something that had a lot more balance with design. You kind of see it here with the A9. So it still has the metal body, but it has that same dual finish design that we saw with the M9. So you have more of this brushed metallic finish in the back. And on the sides, you have a more polished looking metal. It blends nice, feels really good. It's now uniformly flat, both front and back. So you don't have a, a curved design anymore with the casing. And with the symmetrical design, they made it so that you have things like the cameras placed right there in the middle, along with the flash right there, the HTC logo. It's a nice clean finish that we really like. And of course, it's gonna draw many comparisons to the iPhone 6, just because when you look at the overall footprint, it can be mistaken for it. But honestly, HTC says that they were the first to really come up with this type of design with the uh, plastic bandings on the back with a metal frame with the HTC Legend. This is just an evolution to their design language. Now front, you have a five inch 1080p display. Now they no longer use a super LCD three display. Instead, it's now an AMOLED panel. So that's the first thing that really stands out here. 1080p, you could argue whether or not that it is flagship level, but in this case, it is still sharp. And of course it has all the qualities of AMOLED. So that means a very saturated look, wide view angle, so you get that deep black and great contrast. Now it's gonna be interesting to see how it fares compared to the AMOLED panels we see from Samsung's camp. But they said they reverted to this just because it offers better uh, power efficiency um, than LCD. The other thing that stands out is below the display, you now have a fingerprint sensor. It's recess and also acts as a home button. And the nice thing is even when the device is off, you just place your finger right on there, it unlocks the device. It's pretty quick. And like I said, it's also used as a home button itself. On the back, you have a 13 megapixel camera, a slight hump to it. It's a, it has a dual LED flash. It tops out only at 1080p video recording. Unfortunately, there is no 4K. And on the front, you have the same four megapixel ultra pixel camera. Now gone though, some of the iconic designs from the HTC Pass, for example, the dual front fire and boom sound speakers. That's no longer the case. You now have a single earpiece and the speaker itself is now positioned on the bottom. You have a micro USB port right next to it, which features quick charge, quick charge 3.0, which is nice. So you're gonna get really fast charge time with it. Fortunately, there is no wireless charging with this. It's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 chip with three gigabytes of RAM. Some people will argue that it's not really high end, but in all fairness, it's the latest chipset from Qualcomm's camp, which enables the phone to have that quick charging capability here. You can pick up a pre-order for the handset starting today through HTC's website. It's going to be made available for at a promotional price point of $399.99. So $400 for this. It is an unlocked model and that's only for a, that's a promotional price point. So who knows when they're going to take that away. If it's going to be any higher afterwards, it's going to have a tough time competing in the space knowing what's out there. And of course, the carriers will have their own separate announcements as far as availability and pricing. So if you guys want to learn more about the HTC One A9, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. John V, thanks for watching.